going on, you guys? Happy New Year. Um, starting things off with the first video of the year here. This is the final event that we have running um, for the rest of December here. As you can see, it's called the Icy Extravaganza. So if you take a look here, um, the final event is going to be the six-day event through the way of spending campaign energy, playing raid battles, um, and you're going to get a bonus if you actually do have the Extreme X-Men, um, any of them built up, especially if you have them beyond the gear tier 16. It's going to give you additional points as well. Um, it's going to have an opportunity here, most notably for the Cyclops shards. There's a diamond uh, Dawn Orb at the very end, but I mean, to be honest, it's it's way too far out of reach for free to play folks. But there is some decent uh, Teal Mutant gear here and there that we'll likely be needing for the rest of the year here, especially knowing that there's more mutant teams to come. Hopefully, Xavier, that'll be really cool. Um, and and uh, finally, wrapping things up for, for December. So, I mean... Um, also keep in mind there's a daily web milestone that's going to be tied back to Alliance credits so just making sure you're claiming for that obviously it's going to add to the milestone points as well so if you hit preview here this is going to be uh, starting in about six hours at time of recording guys um, so again we're wrapping things up with the, the last of these spectacular snowflakes there's Cyclops shards to go around um, uh, costume credits as well uh, but I, I do like the abundance here of the teal materials, right? There's some good catalysts here that we can go for, uh, but really it's the goggles here at milestone 14, 100,000 points. The ruby snow goggles, that's going to give you the, the last of the item here to wrap up December. And um, again, I think the seven red Cyclops could be something most folks may want to be going for, just because as you can see there, I have a diamond of him uh, from raid rewards, but I evidently don't have a seven red on him just yet. So how achievable is this we do have this broken down but before that let's check the scoring as well there's gonna be a, a, a some key components that we need to focus on right raid battles is gonna add a sizable chunk that's forty two thousand points it's gonna max out 700 per raid not an issue whatsoever if you play the raid battles with any of the extreme x-men not at set gear tear levels um you can see here you're gonna get at least 3600 points as the limit that's something you want to be maximizing for sure and then like i said earlier if you have any of them beyond gear tier 16 um and beyond right obviously you're gonna get, get be getting some notable points uh, especially if you have nightcrawler um forge uh these two characters are going to add a very big amount of portion here for points if especially if you have them at gear tier 17 and 18 uh it's going to definitely put you over and then finally guys um we do have actually the spending of campaign energy valued at four points per uh being spent so how does this all look together how free to play friendly is it well this is the summary right here and again guys this is a six day event right so factoring in all this um and again my my uh breakdowns here always assume that you're going to be doing 1100 uh, energy campaign energy per day which assumes that you're spending 200 cores per day to get to ensure you're hitting that 1100 right by doing the math here you should be getting close to 25 26 000, uh in points for the campaign energy the raid battles are going to max out at 42 000. Uh, using the Extreme X-Men at any gear tier is going to give you a pretty nice 3600. And then I do have a 4800 here ranked because uh, my Nightcrawler is gear tier 16 right now. So I'm assuming most folks likely will have one of these characters um, built up at gear tier 16. That's going to help for sure, as you'll see in the math here. Uh, so hopefully you have one of them built up. If not, don't worry. We still have a couple days here to boost them up. But even if you don't, um, it's going to be very, very close, guys. So I, I took out 17 and 18 because they're just high gear tier levels and not all folks may have them if they're not in the end game, especially if you're mid game trying to wrap this event up. And then we finally have the web milestone alliance credits, which it's just going to give us another sizable portion of 24,000. And the free claim has not been confirmed yet. We'll see at reset today. But usually with these events, they're typically at 500 uh, points per day. So I just took 500, multiplied that by six. And then that gives us the 3,000 highlighted in yellow there. But again, you know, we typically see 500. It could be lower, it could be higher. Who knows? That's going to give us 103,800 points estimated free to play guys and as you can see here that is just shy you know slightly over the 100k mark here uh for the ruby snow goggles uh at milestone 14. as i said earlier the red cyclops is at 115 so uh it's it's really going to be a grind already in order to hit the 100,000. even with all the campaign energy hitting 1100 per day maxing all the raid battles as well as having these characters what's going to put you over is if you have any of these um higher level built uh gear tier 17 and 18 characters in nightcrawler and forge um it's gonna give definitely give you that boost uh to hit that milestone 15 mark for the seven red uh but too quick to be quite honest guys um i think for my game plan i don't know if it's worth it i, I think i'm just gonna go for the goggles just to wrap up the month 
it's close to getting the seven red in Cyclops, but I don't know if I want to. Um, it all depends on if I can build up my Nightcrawler by then and, and get the additional points. But even then, you need both Forge and uh, Nightcrawler to actually get the, the, the full 9,000 added. So I, I don't know if it's worth it, to be honest. We can go through our Elite credits and, and Gold Promotion as well. I have an abundance of that. But I think what I'm probably going to do then is just, you know, business as usual. Get as much teal mats as I can. Go for the goggles. Unless the free claims does turn out to be better than expected. Um, I think that's going to be the mark here, guys. Just because I'm um, pushing for a 7 red. I don't know if it's worth it. There's not enough materials here. There's some ISO 4. And obviously the teal mats help. But um, the goggles will get the job done. And it's going to give us the opportunity here to finally wrap up this Frozen Festival. Uh, which is only shy of uh, 40,000 points, really. Um, so, I mean, um, there's a Diamond Dawn orb here that I'm interested in. Obviously, gear 18 mats and then uh, the Cold Heart Cash, which you can obviously see you utilize in the store, right? And make sure you guys are using that, too. I think um, when you check the supply store, right, there is only 10 days left. So make sure you guys are going through um, and, and using the store because there's some good stuff here in terms of the, the gear 18 mats as well, um, at least 7 credits and so forth. So good things to always check on but yeah i'll keep you guys up to date happy new year hope this helps you guys i wish it was an easier event but um it's gonna be uh, a little grindy in terms of just making sure you're, you're maximizing the campaign energy and rates just to just to hit the monthly milestone if i hit it, hit it before uh the monthly item i think i will stop there probably but yeah that'll be my game plan guys let me know what you think um and thank you as always guys i do appreciate you following along and happy new year i'll catch you guys in the next one